first alert forecast. Yes, it is mild morning with the clear sky, but it is going to be very warm in the afternoons for now. We continue that trend for the next couple of days, but you can see that downhill trend as a front approaches. So very important here to keep in mind that we're way above average for now, at least as a front gets closer, we'll chip away at that. And then behind the front, we go from one extreme to the other with below average temperatures. So for this morning, as you're just getting out the door, it might be a layer day, especially for the kids standing around outside, a little cool 58 degrees, peel off that layer very, very quickly though. Sunrise 732 and really even by 830 to 9 o'clock, we're starting to burn off this fog. We're starting to heat up because it is uh, all sunshine. All day long, you see a couple of wispy clouds on the edges of our area. That's all the movement we really have here for now. Lots of sunshine, light, cool breeze, low humidity, though. So at least if you stick to the shade, it helps for those of you who work outdoors. Find a place to get away from that sun because it is a really hotter than average day. Absolutely by 10 degrees and that sunshine always makes it feel even hotter. That'll take us from 58 at 8 to 77 at noon with a high today of 87. Again, 77 is the average. High for this time of year, and there we're there at lunchtime, and well, then again at eight o'clock after the sun sets. So that just really pumps in all this heat in the forecast where you live. That adds up to lots of low 80s on the plateau, mid to upper 80s in the south to central valley, like 87 Knoxville to 86 in Kingston. Forecast where you live today: 81 in Crossville, to 82 in Oneida. Looking at 84 in Williamsburg and 83 in Harlan, then 84 Morristown to 85 in Dandridge. So all in all, a very warm. Tuesday and we'll have a few clouds starting to roll in the next couple of days. Notice some wispier clouds where still plenty of sun and then here comes a couple more by the end of the day tomorrow. So that's hinting at the changes we will see and then feel at least behind that front. So for your planer tomorrow, that's 61 in the morning with patches of fog again, a little warmer. This is just a couple of clouds are moving in. We'll be in the upper 70s for you by noon and high of 86. Those clouds continue to increase though on Thursday, more partly cloudy views ahead of the front's batch of rain. But since we're really just kind of slowing it down, it does fall apart a bit. We get some scattered rain in the afternoon to evening to early overnight. That's going to be our best chance for some rain and storms will be late in the day on Friday into the early overnight hours. Then it becomes spotty by Saturday morning as the cooler air is being pulled in behind that front because see a few extra clouds at the Tennessee Kentucky line Sunday afternoon. So we all are going to feel that big shift there because again, we're on the warm side for now. Those mid to upper 80s, then you get your low 80s on Thursday just because of a few extra clouds still way up of average. Then Friday we start to increase the clouds, the humidity and then slowly the rain and storm. So that's where it's going to be spotty during the day, scattered late afternoon to evening into the early overnight. More of a stray shower left into the mountain tops by Saturday morning as we're watching that continue to clear our area and then cool down our area. Like I said, from one extreme to the other, we're looking at highs around upper 60s this weekend with lots of sun. Get a cool breeze, get those nights in the 40s looking into early next week with that sunshine. So we'll continue to see some more of that fall color progress slowly downhill over the next week as those temperatures really help to trigger more of that fall color change.